And it's a scandal so extreme, it has the makings of a wild teen movie. What do you get when you combine a high school ski trip, a bar top strip tease, and a video camera? The most sensational high school scandal of all time, that's what. This is Hector, a student in Burlington Township, New Jersey. Hector loves a good time so much that he actually joined his school ski team just for the ski trip party potential. I pretty much joined because of other people telling me about the past trips they went on. Ski trip included partiers. You can just go and drink and have a good time. I knew that in Canada, you only have to be 18 to drink, and that was it for me. The team's annual trip to Canada was legendary. Although chaperoned and drinking forbidden, the students had figured out how to sneak out and hit up the bars, a surefire way to find themselves in scandal territory. After like 6 o'clock, we basically a free kid for them a couple hours. It was almost as if the school had kind of just turned the other cheek. When the clock struck 6, the skiers prepared to roll out to the bars for a wild night. And Hector brought along the single instigator of many a big-time scandal, a video camera. A lot of people were drinking, and it was pretty wild in there. Yeah! After hours of hard partying, Things took a torrid turn that no onlooker would ever forget. Heck, this girl that I go to school with hopped up on the bar and she just started dancing. Then two other girls had hopped on and continued to do the same thing. My buddies tapped me on the shoulder and you know, pointed at the bar top and was like, you know, look at those girls. Over. That's when I pointed my camera towards the stage. What Hector recorded would create the biggest scandal in high school history. Then the girls took off their shirt. And we're like, oh, God, this is going to really get risque. And the club starts going crazy. There's a 15-year-old, there's two 16-year-olds. And we're in a club full of 35-year-old uh, men, and they're going wild. Some people were shocked, like, I can't believe these girls from my school are doing this. The other guys are cheering. The whole bar went crazy. Next thing you know, their pants come off, and they kick them across the room. Next thing you know, and their panties are off. All they had on were socks. That's all they had on were socks. I thought it was like the funniest thing in the world at the time. The Girls Gone Wild finally ended their nude review. And with the show complete, the tipsy teens stumbled back to their hotel. Everybody was like, I can't believe this happened. That's crazy. It's like a Jerry Springer thing. The students finished their ski trip and traveled back across the border to finally return home. But when they got back to school, the ski trip stripping story became the hall's hottest gossip. First, you just started hearing, uh, there was girls stripping, and you, then you wanted to know who it was. The three girls who had stripped, they weren't exactly like the shy little girl that you would see in school. They were bragging about it. It was like, oh, look what I did. I got up on a bar called back. Everybody in the high school knew that there was a videotape. As word spread like wildfire, the principal got wind of the eye-popping exploit, and the ski trip strippers were the first to be summoned down to the office. One of the girls had let the principal know that there was a tape. I was just like, what a dumbass. Wanting to get to the bottom of this appalling incident immediately, the principal and vice principal paid Hector a surprise visit at home. They demanded to see the infamous tape, and with no other option, Hector played the incriminating evidence with his school's top officials at his side. And as the tape's playing, it goes to the girls stripping, and they're like, oh my god, the vice principal's just got her head down, you know, she's just like... And the principal's just like, well, that's enough. While the principal pondered their punishment, outrage spread beyond campus, and the scandal soon became a nationwide sensation. It was in the newspapers. Some people said they heard about it on Howard Stern and other radio stations. The New Jersey Department of Youth and Family Services investigated the school district. It was just crazy. And when the punishments were handed down, it definitely wasn't pretty. Hector received a 10-day suspension for his key part in this mind-blowing debacle. In the end, about 20 to 25 students were suspended. The girls were suspended for five days out of school and five Saturday detentions. There was like an hour or two of mandatory AA meetings. And in order for you to get back to school, you had to take a mandatory drug test. It was one big sticky situation. The town the school, and especially the annual ski trip, would never be the same. It was one night of videotaped debauchery that indisputably earned the title of the most sensational high school scandal of all time. People still come up to me and ask me if I have the tape. It's over three years now, and I'm still known as the kid with the camera.